Hey everybody, this is Franco, and I wanted to put out a quick video about uh, Fusion 360 post processors for the Centroid Mill CNC control software. I downloaded the standard post processor that was available through Fusion 360 that was labeled Centroid, and when I went to use it, there were a few problems. It, it uh, didn't do comments correctly. That was really the main thing. So I figured I'd go and uh, make a few changes just to try to improve it, and I think I am off to a good start, and I wanted to share it with you. So let me just post something out here really quick. I have a, a test job here, very uh, simple stuff. It's basic milling and drilling, and let me simulate it here for you so you can see what it is. So you can see we have some adaptive clearing going on. Here, I'll speed this up. Lots of code, mostly milling with some drilling. All right, really simple. So it's uh, milling and drilling. So that's, that's what the tool paths look like. And when we post it out, Here's what it looks like. This is uh, the, the version of the post that I, I customized. And uh, most of the basic options here that are available in Fusion 360 post processors, most of this is self-explanatory. I added a few things. There's this one property called Check Approach. Yes or no, I'll show you what that does. And that actually, that's the only only property I add it. So let's post this out. And here is the code. So this is set up so it outputs the comments correctly for the Centroid software. And you know you can scroll through it's you know it's pretty basic stuff. All of this code runs. I've tested it. One thing that I will show you, so I added that property, check approach, and what that will do is when it gets to the clearance plane, it will fire out an MO, and that gives you an opportunity to, uh, you know, if you're like me, you know, you just want to check and make sure your tooltip is in the right place before you let it rip. So I usually use a one-inch clearance plane. And I know when I look at my tool, it should be one inch away from, you know, the zero surface on the part. So after every tool change, you'll see this is outputting this optional stop. If you don't want that, all you have to do is just change that property to no. And it will go away. So you can configure that uh, at the time of posting. One other thing that I'll show you is within the post processor, uh, anything I've changed, I throw a comment in front of. And this is a really important one here. This uh, variable that I add, add it called debug post. If you are uh, a post processor editor guy, you'll really like this because you can come in and change this variable to a one and save it and when you post out your code let's see hopefully this will take effect immediately there you go when you post out your code it'll give you the debug scripts it actually shows you which uh, section of the post processor created each line of code so it's you kind of have to stare at it a little bit to figure out what it's telling you, but this can be handy if if you want to uh, further customize this post processor, you can use that variable. All right, well, there it is. Uh, I'll put this on the Dropbox location, and feel free to use it. I, 
am uh, somewhat limited in what I can test because I, I don't have uh, Centroid controlling the spindle on my mill. So I can't test rigid tapping and boring and things like that. But hopefully the format will be well, or it will be correct. If it's not, uh, leave me a comment and uh, maybe give me an example of, of what needs to be changed and I can probably update this post-processor. So there you go. I hope you find this helpful. And uh, feel free to use this. And uh, thanks for watching my videos. And be safe and enjoy working with your Centroid-powered milling machine. Thanks a lot.